everyone, it's Haley, and today I am doing the Rip It or Ship It book tag. So this tag was created by Emma Books here on YouTube. I will link her video down below, and it's basically you put a bunch of book character names in a cup or something like that. I'm using my lovely Alice in Wonderland teacup, and you put all those names in there, and then you pick out two names, and you decide if you ship them, as in relationship, you support it, just yes, it needs to happen, or if you want to rip them, as in R.I.P., this can never happen, it's dead, no way in hell. So I have all of the girls' names and the guys' names in the same cup. You can separate them or whatever, but I just decided to put them all in the same cup. Okay, so I have Harper Price from Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins with Queen Lavana from The Lunar Chronicles. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rip that. That would not work in a million years. I mean, Harper is very, like, strong-minded Southern Belle, and Queen Lavana is just really creepy, so no, absolutely not. Uh, so here we have Cinder, also from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, and Alaska Young from Looking for Alaska by John Green. Uh, no, I'm gonna rip that too. I just don't think that would work at all. I mean, Cinder is really, like, driven and badass, and Alaska is very broody and she has quite a few issues so I just don't think that they would work well together at all. <laughs> Okay, here we have Hazel Grace Lancaster from The Fault in Our Stars by John Green with K.L. Westfall from Throne of Glass. I'm gonna go ahead and ship that. Like, I love both of them and I just think that it could work. I mean, Hazel is really, like, intelligent and very... I don't know, not thought-provoking, but she's she thinks a lot. I'm drawing a blank for the word right now, but um, Kayal, I think, is just a really loving person, and he would just, he would give her all this love, and it would just be fabulous. I don't even have, like, a good justification for shipping it, other than I love both of them, so I'm just gonna ship it. Mm. Oh god, I have three names. No, two. No, I had four. Okay. Uh, so here we have Max and Shreve from the Selection series by Kira Cass and <laughs> Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars. These are another two characters that I really, really love. Um, as far as them together, no, I just don't think that Gus and Maxon would work. Maxon is really, like, kind of artsy, I guess, with his photography and stuff, and he's, like, very, like, into his prince duties, and I just think that Augustus is a little bit pretentious, and he just wouldn't really mix with him very well, and kind of his obsession with being remembered, Maxim would just be like, stop, please stop. So I just don't think that would work, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip it. <laughs> So here we have Peter Malark from The Hunger Games uh, and Clary Frey from City, uh, the Mortal Instruments series. Peter and Clary. I don't know how that would work. Like, I want to say no, but I really don't know because Peta is always with Katniss and Katniss is pretty badass. And not that Clary's not badass, but like, I mean, she's a little bit more held back. I don't know. Maybe it's just that I don't really like Clary, but I'm gonna rip it. I just don't think it would work. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll pick you. Uh, Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter series, obviously, and Magnus Bane from <laughs> The Mortal Instruments. Uh, Ron and Magnus... You know what? I'm gonna ship it. I think that would be really funny. I think Ron is like... I don't know. I just feel like Ron and Magnus would get along. Magnus would get annoyed with him, but like, it would just work out. I, I ship that. I ship it. Uh, we have Percy Jackson from, obviously, the Percy Jackson series, and Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. Percy and Katniss, I'm gonna ship it because Katniss is kind of like Annabeth, but she's more like, um, 
active. Like, I feel like uh, Annabeth is more of a strategist than Katniss is. Not that Katniss isn't, but Katniss is more, like, out there with her bow and arrow and stuff, and Annabeth is out there too, but she is kind of more of the intelligent type and thinking things through in her head. Um, and I, I feel like just Percy is also a fighter, and they would just get along really well, so I'm just gonna ship it. Dun, dun, dun. I just want to. Okay. Uh, we have Liam Stewart from The Darkest Minds and Ava Lavender from The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. Um, I'm going to ship it because I feel like Liam could really help Ava with some of her struggles and I just feel like he would kind of help her to understand herself and accept who she is and I feel like Ava's quirkiness would really compliment Liam so I'm going to ship it. In case you haven't noticed yet, I'm really bad at explaining why I ship it, I just do. Okay. Next we have Warner from the Shatter Me series and Mira from Snow Like Ashes. I'm gonna ship that as well because I feel like Warner is really just a misunderstood character and I think Mira is a little bit misunderstood too. She's kind of a badass and I don't think she would put up with any of Warner's shit and I just think the dynamic of their relationship would be really interesting and the banter would be really funny so I'm gonna ship it. Bye. Uh. Okay, so we have Etienne St. Clair from, what's it called, Anna and the French Kiss, and Chase Wayland from The Mortal Instruments. I'm gonna ship that. I am definitely gonna ship that because I just think that their banter would be the funniest because they're both kind of sarcastic and they both are not cocky. Well, Jace is kind of cocky, but Etienne is confident with himself, so he's not really, like, annoyingly cocky. I just feel like they would get along really well. Like, I don't know why, I just feel like it would work, so I'm shipping it. <laughs> Okay, next we have Will Harrendale from uh, The Infernal Devices and Gonzi from um, The Raven Boys. I'm gonna ship that because I feel like they're both pretty intelligent people and they both really care for those around them and they're really selfless. So I feel like they would, could just be selfless together and it would just work. So I'm gonna ship it. Mm -hmm. uh, Dorian Havilliard from the Throne of Glass series and Alyssa Gardner from Splintered. Uh, hmm. I'm going to ship it because there are things that are spoilery that I can't say that I feel like they could help each other through and it would just work out very nicely so I'm just gonna ship it and that's all I'm gonna say. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we have Tris Pryor from the Divergent series and Morpheus also from Splintered. Uh, no. I'm gonna rip that. Uh, Tris is too, like, driven and badass and she would get really tired of Morpheus and all his crap and his kind of cockiness and, like, the fact that he's a very mysterious character. I think she would just get sick of it, so no. Ripping it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we have Mara Dyer from uh, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and Voldemort. You know what? I'm just gonna ship it. Like, why not? They both can be evil. I mean, Mara doesn't want to be evil, but maybe she could kind of help Voldemort, like, through his evilness, and then he wouldn't be evil anymore. So, I'm just gonna ship it. Hey. Wow, that was exciting, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, so we have Juliet Ferrars from Shatter Me and Tobias Eaton. Oh, I just ripped it. Tobias Eaton from uh, the Divergent series. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ship that because Tobias is kind of like Warner in a way and he kind of is like very driven and very like emotionless at times but he does have a lot that he's kind of hiding so I feel like that could work out very well and I just think it would work so I'm gonna ship it. I'm almost done. Okay so we have Selena Sardothian from the Throne of Glass series and Hermione Granger from 
from uh, Harry Potter. I'm gonna ship that because Selena, I feel like, would be kind of like the brawn of the relationship. She would be like the muscles and the like getting stuff done, and Hermione would be the brains of it, and she would like help her come up with these plans to assassinate these people. And I don't know, I just feel like it could work, so I'm gonna ship it. How many names do I have left in here? Okay, we have Luna Lovegood with Valentine from the um, Mortal Instruments series. I am going to rip that. Luna is too fun and just enjoyable of a character to be with Valentine who is just super stupid and evil and no. I was really hoping I would get uh, Luna Lovegood with Ava Lavender because I would ship that like a hundred percent, but you know. We have two names left in here, but I'm still shaking it because it's fun. Okay, so the final two is America Singer from the Selection series and Noah Shaw from uh, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. And I am entirely going to rip that because America is annoying, like so annoying. And Noah is funny and perfect and really just great. And I think he would just kill America. He'd be like, please stop talking. You are so annoying. Please make a decision. Oh my god, no. So, no, I'm gonna rip that. So that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have done this tag. I would love to see it. I think these videos are just really fun. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!